Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe Show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Thank you for being here on the Valder BB Show. We're live across America. I'm out of Dallas, Texas, but we get to talk to people all across America on various platforms. So I'm so excited to have you. I want my audience to know that uh, Lisa Lehman is the, uh, excuse me, Chief Clinical Officer at Lemonade Health. Correct. That's Dr. Davis, Will. <laughs> I did, Dr. Davis. I'm sorry. Yeah. My notes are a little bit mixed up this morning. But anyway, you guys are here with 23andMe. Alisa, let's get started. I want to know, uh, my audience wants to know also, too, how genetic testing helps us to take a more proactive approach to our health. What can it yield for us? Yeah, so when we're talking about uh, genetic testing at 23andMe, what we're looking at is these little bits of DNA that differ from person to person. We call these genetic variants. And these genetic variants may be associated with certain health conditions um, like heart disease. If you learn that you have one of these genetic variants um, or, or at, are, at, um, are clinically or genetically uh, predisposed to develop one of these conditions, you can take that information to your doctor to help develop a plan for how to uh, take steps to try and prevent or manage those conditions. So what can genetic tell us specifically? Let's talk about heart disease, because that seems to be, we just came out of Heart Health Month. What can it tell us specifically about that? Yeah, so at 23andMe, we have about eight reports um, that touch on different aspects of heart health. And these reports can tell you if you're at an increased likelihood of developing conditions um, such as high blood pressure or high LDL cholesterol or coronary artery disease based on your genetics. Um, luckily, these reports also talk about the other factors that go into determining whether you actually develop heart disease. And a lot of those other factors are things that are under your control. I want my audience to know that Alicia Lehman, I've got my notes corrected now, She's a product scientist, and she's been working at 23andMe since 2015. I'm going That's to right. switch to uh, Dr. Davis. Lou, Dr. Davis, what advice can you give to someone who finds out that they have a greater risk of developing heart disease? Yeah, I would actually recommend they make an appointment and talk to their doctor about what they can do to actually decrease the risk of preventable heart disease. It turns out that is the leading cause of death, but it doesn't have to be for them. Um, one of the biggest secrets is that we need to control blood pressure and uh, cholesterol, and sometimes medications are used to be preventative. So talk to your doctor with this information and be proactive about your health. And can I ask you, are you saying with hypertension, is that a, uh, a risk factor for heart, for bad heart health? Yeah, it turns out there's uh, lots of risk factors. A man age 45 and older or a woman 55 and older, blood pressure, cholesterol, whether or not they smoke or diabetes. So the information we provide is just a beginning of being proactive to decrease your risk. And yes, blood pressure is one of them. And the goal is 140 over 90 or less is the key ideal metric. Okay. Thank you so very much for that. I want to ask you, Alisa, 23andMe, my uh, post from, uh, where is this coming from, Instagram, they want to know if it's affordable. They say there's a lot of generic testing out there, but a lot of it is out of their financial reach. Yeah, we offer um, a few different services at different um, um, prices. So if people are interested in the health service, um, that is uh, uh, typically $199, although there are um, uh, different sales periods occasionally. Um, but if people are only interested in the health information and they have FSA funds, we actually do have a fully FSA eligible um, health only product that you can get at the FSA store. So FSAstore.com would be one place to find that. That can make that a little bit more affordable if you have those funds already. 
I like that. That is affordable. And if we want to get more information at all on 23andMe or the conversation we've had this morning, where would you send them online? Yeah, so 23andMe.com is the place to go to see all of the different services that we offer and to learn more about what um, your genetics can tell you. Alicia and Dr. Davis Liu, thank you so very much for talking about that. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB Show broadcast on radio and television, and this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.